Hi everyone, so today we are going to make this procedural stylized portal. It's just a circle here. So let's go to a new blend file and delete the default cube. Let me just check the screencast. Okay. And let's create a circle. Press F. And let's go to the shading tab. New material. Let's join to have some room. This one will be a timeline later on. And I'm actually using my notebook as a second monitor so because I'm not home so I have to use it and the first part of this tutorial I'm going to create the spiral which I am not the person who originally made it I will give the link of the original video so thanks to the person who did it and I'm going to recreate the shader because I wanted to do it with a just check if it's really recording with a wave texture but it didn't work so I'm going to copy that shader. So here it's a math node, multiply, we can plug it here, 32, and a combine. with the Z plugged into the rotation another gradient radial multiply copy that fraction oh just one thing I think here it's 0.6 for every one of them and this one it's not 32 it's 1.5 a clamp with noise One point six, one point two here. I know I might be going a little fast, but I'm going to to share later on how it all fits together in the color ramp. Then mission this color ramp will be black here a little white and a very bright blue bluish value here and let's actually add this for later on I'm going to mute it let me here and we will need an add shader for the future so just to show you guys what's going on here here our spiral it's working so this is the spiral you 
can play with the values here to add more white or whichever color you want. I won't copy those because I need different values here. Generator for both, and here it's minus point five. Whoops. Yeah. Here it's a gradient, quadratic sphere, and the color ramp set to B spline. And we can play with the colors here. A very bright blue, that one. Another very bright, but more to the blue. And this one, very blue. Yeah, it's working. You can see here. Okay, let's copy these muted because we can use it later on. We'll need this mix RGB. Upload this one here. And for the last part, a Voronoi. Mikomsky. Point eight. Mm, point nine, I believe here. It's kind of hard to see. And change it to constant. Full black here. And a very bright yellow. So let's see what's going on here. Oopsie. It's not what we want. Okay. Yeah. Point 0.5. Yeah, okay. I think point 0.6 is kind of cooler. And this black area here, you control how many stars you want to to appear or not along with the exponent we'll combine this into here copy that emission change to difference where is it here now they are combined we can plug it here and turn it it work it you can use this material in any kind of primitive shape I'll put this file into the description you can use in whatever project you want okay so I'm going to show you now how to animate you can go here remember to be in frame number one frame point so the stars will be twinkling right now you can change this speed it's kind of fast but yeah better like this okay and for the spiral go to frame number one insert frame and I want to set it to 100 here go to 100 and 
Okay, for a tree. So. Okay. Now everything here is being animated procedurally too. And the last thing is that you can use this here saturation values here to for example play around with the the colors if you want to I don't know different shapes different not shapes but colors here you can change the saturation as you can see make something more magical I don't know more stylized and let me see here yeah it looks kind of cool and that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed and gave a like subscribe thank you everyone bye bye